welcome back to my channel. Today we're making beer bread. Yes, you read that title correctly. We're going to attempt to make beer bread, which is a real thing I found out. Apparently, it's sort of like a medieval thing. So the fact that I had never heard of it is just kind of like, what? I should totally know what beer bread is. So anyway, let's give a shout out to everyone who's here in the chat. Pony Girl, first one in the chat. Hello. Followed by Lucas, Xe, DJ, Jacob, Aaron, Ed, Edward Sanchez, Tom, Spartan, Night Howler, Gary, Jacob, I said Jacob, Z3PO, hello, Cooper, JRM, hello, Back Fandango, Tara, hi guys, what's up, happy, happy Sunday, and Triple H is here, yes, it is Sunday, got my good vibes going, and we're gonna make some beer bread, yeah, hey Alonzo, so guys, if you have these ingredients at home, you know what, I'm actually gonna throw the recipe that I'm using in the description, if I can, eh, if I can get to it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, hey, Mr. Peebo, hello. All right, I'm gonna put this in the description if I can. Ah, where, sorry, I'm trying to, oh no, what did I do? I broke everything. Okay, here we go, here we go. Edit. Okay. Beer bread recipe. All right, I have added that to the description. So if you guys have these ingredients, literally there's four ingredients, flour, sugar, butter, and beer. <laughs> this is crazy. Hey, what's up, Corvo? What's up, Death Water? Cookies, it's Jacob. Uh, Derek Castle. Yeah, I uh, never heard of beer bread, beer bread before. Yeah, same. So uh, I, I'm gonna try this and it's gonna be really weird. Oh, you guys are being mean saying you caught these ore fish and everything. Yeah, okay, whatever, yeah. Okay, so I have flour, I have sugar, I have salt and okay guys this is I'm not trying to be ironic or funny or or anything uh, there's not supposed to be a joke here but the only beer I had in my house just happens to be Corona uh, don't demonetize me YouTube uh, this is educational uh, <laughs> so I had a Corona beer so I was like oh my gosh how ironic I'm making Corona beer bread hey you know what it's fitting and it works and Corona is delicious. So if you guys are of age and happen to have a can of beer, a bottle of beer laying around your house and flour, sugar, salt, that's it. That's all you need. And butter, sorry, butter, which, ah, here's butter, butter. Hello, three souls, Eddie. I skipped your question. I didn't see a question. Um, Don Chambers, hello, hello. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, Corona is the only beer I had. This is this is what we're doing. This is what we're getting, and there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay, so I have heard from people online that they have attempted to make this bread, and it can be quite dense and hard, I guess. So I don't know. Uh, I don't want it to be like that. Also, people kind of say it tastes weird. Um, Actually, people really like it, but to me, I think it's gonna taste weird. I don't know, beer and bread just sounds weird to me. So uh, I'm gonna just try it though. Hello, uh, what's up, Sharma? I love your cooking, by the way, thanks. Hey, Night Howler, thank you. I don't know why my alert box isn't working. Uh, there it is. Yay, donation dance, thank you. Thank you so much, Night Howler. Katie, you should make wine bread, not beer bread. Ugh, I don't think that'll taste good. Fun fact, Corona's beer sales went up 5% since, since this all started. I don't think so. I think it's the opposite, but um, I would support Corona. Uh, anyway, it tastes fine. 
Okay, beer bread is a thing. Yes, I guess so. I guess they used to do it in the medieval times um, when they didn't have a whole lot of ingredients, especially when you can't find yeast, which you need to bake bread, you can use beer. Never knew that till now. So we're gonna try this, but I want my bread to be a little extra. So I'm gonna add some things to my bread. I'm gonna grate some cheese and I'm gonna add some cheese to the bread because who doesn't love like yummy, cheesy bread? So I have two bread dishes, so I'll make enough for two loaves of bread. I'll do one plain and then I'll do one with cheese and a little garlic on top. Like I'll dust it with some garlic. I don't know, we're trying this. Everyone's like, beer bread, that sounds, are you sure it's not root beer bread? Positive, it's beer bread, which like I said, guys, I saw this and went, ew, really? That doesn't sound good, but we're gonna try it. Yeah, beer is made with yeast, so I think the beer acts as the yeast. And also, all of the alcohol of the beer cooks off, so you can definitely eat the bread um, if you, you know, you're, you're basically just using the beer for its yeast and the alcohol just cooks off and you don't have to worry about the alcohol. <laughs> All right, so I'm just grating some cheese here. Cheese makes everything better. And my dog is like right here like, uh, I smell cheese, do I get cheese? How's everyone doing this morning or afternoon? What time is it? I don't even, I don't even know what time it is. It's one. How's everyone doing? All right, I've grated some cheese. Maybe a little more You can't have too much cheese, right? Hey. Aaron, what's up? No, not root beer bread, gross. That sounds even grosser than beer bread, but we're gonna try this. This might work. <laughs> it just might work. All right. Hey, Red Buick, thank you. Donation dance, donation dance, donation dance, thank you. Um. Don't cut yourself, be careful with the cheese grater. I didn't cut myself, although I did last night on a knife. Boo. Lucky loves cheese. Yeah, she does. Hey, DZ giveaways. All right. I'm moving the cheese. Yum. <laughs> Over here. And I have to sift flour now, which sounds crazy, but we're going to do it. I'm going to get a bowl. All right. So this recipe calls for, and you guys can follow along and even bake this with me. All you need is, yes, no intoxication when eating beer bread. Not at all. Not at all. Hey, Gabriel. Adam Thompson. Hello. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, you can follow along. You can bake it at home if you have these ingredients. Uh, but So we're going to start with three cups of flour. Is that what I just said? Uh, yes, three cups of flour. Now I'm just using what I have because I can't control anything that I don't have. It's not like I could go to the store. I don't even know if I have three cups of, I should have three cups of flour. Hopefully I have six cups of flour so I can make two loaves. Cause I want to make a plain loaf of bread just to see plain loaf of bread. See what it turns out like. All right, that's one. Uh, I guess I'm putting it in this bowl. I should have gotten a bigger bowl. Mistakes were made. Hey, what's up Nathan? I like beer and I like bread. Yeah, I like both of those things too. Um, you know, it's funny because the other day we made a uh, potato soup and we kept saying, oh man, I wish we had bread to eat with it and we could have just made bread. Um, I've never made bread before. My dad used to make bread and it always was really, really good. I remember as a kid, we had a bread maker and I remember it being really, really, really good. Hey, Michelle! Welcome, we're baking bread today. Um, 
Yeah, I actually don't know if I'll have more than three cups of flour. Actually, I may have a whole nother bag of flour. I don't know, I'll have to look. <laughs> Aw, hey Des. Hello, happy Sunday everyone. What are you up to? Uh, I do want to mention something really cool that came out today. Um, I got to create a Marvel superhero and Marvel then brought her to life. And it's really, really exciting. I don't know if you saw my posts on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, but if you open up the description box and scroll down, you'll see Marvel make me a hero. And if you click it, don't click it now, gotta watch it later. Um, but if you click it and watch it, you can watch Marvel literally turn me into a superhero. And it's kind of really amazing. I spent a really long time on her backstory and they send you this whole questionnaire that you fill out with all your character details. And so it was really, really cool. And I was, I, I'm, I'm really excited that that came out. So check it out. It was amazing. And uh, I hope you guys all head over to that video at some point today and leave a nice comment for me. That would be amazing. Uh, hey, Bill, good morning or afternoon. Lost Dwarf, you made it. You finally made it to a live stream. Crazy. Hey, Andrew Thomas. Thomas. Oh my gosh, I can't read. All right. I am now. Oh my gosh, DZ giveaways. Thank you. Donation dance, donation dance, donation dance. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Michelle saying BRB opens a separate screen to watch that video. And we have a new subscriber. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, we have to sift the flour, which is a thing you do. So I guess we're putting the flour in this thing, little by little, and then you go like this. I don't want to hold it up too high because I'll get it all over the place. But yeah, okay, sifting the flour. I guess it makes it finer, a finer sort of flower. Hey, Chaos. Hello. Ooh, Back Fandango making a keynote presentation for work. Well, good luck with that. Good luck. All right. Oh, I see what the sifting does. It definitely um, makes the flower like look a lot thinner. Hey, we have a new subscriber. Get it so, I can't read it all. Ugh. This bag of flour is blocking the name. There we go. <laughs> All right. Still sifting some flour here. But anyway, yeah. Um, I was just so excited when Marvel asked me if I wanted to be a part of that series. And I was like, uh, who wouldn't? Hey, Ed Powell. Welcome. Do I deliver? I wish. I wish I could make some yummy beer bread for everyone out there, but um, I cannot. Am I gonna keep streaming after Corona? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. All right, <laughs> I have sifted three cups of flour. It looks like this. It's all nice and sifted. All right. Oh, Gabriel is saying that's awesome. Marvel made you a superhero. I saw the post on Instagram. Yay. Hey, Dylan. Hey, Chaos. What's up? Hey, get it sold pie. Wait, get it sold. I don't know how to, what, whatever. Hi, welcome. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it. We're making beer bread, making beer bread. All right, next step in the beer bread process is Mix flour, sugar, and three tablespoons of melted butter and the beer. Stir until fairly smooth. Oh boy. I feel like I'm gonna screw this up somehow. All right, one to four tablespoons of sugar. One to four, that's like such a huge, that's a huge discrepancy. I'll do, I'll go halfway. I'll go halfway and do two. Who doesn't like sugar? Michelagno, hello, and TXC Camp, and Jay Ice, hello. Congrats on being a superhero, thanks. Oh, it was so exciting. I just, I'm just so happy that they let me like build my own character and um, 
yeah, I basically get to do all of that. Um, you know, they didn't say, hey, here's a character, talk about it. They literally said, come up with a character, here, answer all these questions about her, and we'll draw, we'll have an artist draw you as that character if you want her to look like you. I mean, you could have, I could have picked like, I could have made a guy, a guy superhero or, or something. Okay, I'm adding sugar. One tablespoon, I'm doing two, because it says two to four, so I'm going halfway. So two tablespoons of sugar, and then we need butter. Where did I put my butter? I don't remember. Ah, here we go. Uh, always have good vibes, Katie. Yeah, good vibes. Okay, guys. Um, someone asked what kind of beer I'm using. Hey, Peter. Um, I'm using Corona beer. It's all I had. I'm not trying to be ironic. It's just what I had. So that's what it is. Um, ooh, Irish soda bread, French toast. Oh, Michelle. Okay, I'm watching the video right now and my heart is bursting. I feel like a proud mom and you best believe I commented on that video. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Don't use Corona beer. Guys, come on. Of course I'm using Corona beer. Who cares? <laughs> uh, you know what? I might as well support a beer brand who um, is really struggling right now, I'm sure, due to people not buying the beer because they're afraid of getting coronavirus, which is not true. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna melt this butter in the microwave. For 30 seconds. It is ironic. Yeah, I'm not trying to be ironic though. Uh, that beer, oh, Katie, being topical. Not trying to be topical, it's what I had, I swear. <laughs> I don't have any other beer here in my house. Because I like Corona. That's what I drink. So, that's what I have. So, yeah. Uh, okay. So, we have to mix all the ingredients. Um. <laughs> not melted yet. No. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh. Michelle, you've caught another or fish. How, how wonderful. Lost dwarf. Oh my God. What sorcery microwave is that? Yeah, it's weird, right? It's a drawer microwave. I'd never seen one before, but it's kind of cool. Do I add any salt? I feel like, isn't there always salt in bread? There's not any salt. So, I think I'm, I don't know. What's my favorite type of cake? I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking of baking a cake next week as my cooking video, because I have cake mix. I do have cake mix. All right, I'm pouring the butter in. And I'm about to pour all this beer in. I forgot to open it. Hang on. All right. In goes the beer, I guess. I mean, a sip for luck. All right. Oh, it's all foamy. There's no way this is going to work. There is no way this is gonna work, right? I just don't, I just don't see how, this does not look right. This does not look right. You guys, can you, can you see this? Like, it's all foamy. It's all like foamy and weird. I don't know if this is gonna work out. I, I just, I'm just not seeing it, but we'll see. Mixing it all up. Mixing, mixing. It did tell me to add a cup and a half of beer. Does anyone know how many ounces are in a cup and a half? 
Can someone Google that for me? I mean, it's kind of coming together like bread. You're not supposed to like roll it or anything. It just said like, mix it up. It doesn't say you have to knead it or anything. But it's, look, it's like kind of forming into, into bread. Stir like your life depends on it. It's hard. It's hard to do. This is weird. This is super weird. Okay. Um, <laughs> Maestro nerd. Hi, Katie. Oh, 24? I think I was supposed to put more beer in here than I did. Cup and a half would be 24 ounces. So, wait, but someone else is saying 8.5. Try to. Try folding. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't bake bread. It looks like bread though. It smells good. All right, this is gonna be the plain one. <laughs> I think I didn't put enough beer in here. 12 ounces, oh, 12 ounces in one and a, and a half cup. Okay, great, so that's what I added. I added 12 ounces, but it, it the recipe called for one and a half cups of beer. So thank you. Thanks for doing the math for me. <laughs> Hi, Haley. Glad to see you here. I'm mixing the dough and it looks good. I think it's mixed. I think we're all, I think we're done here. I think I've done it. Um, it looks like bread and it smells like bread. Yeah. It also smells like beer, which is oddly weird. <laughs> I did enough. Okay, great. Uh, yes, I'm on MasterChef. Made pancakes and bacon at 2 a.m. this morning because why the heck not? Why the heck not? Okay, so I'm going to spray down this loaf pan. Oh, I should not be on MasterChef. They would yell at me. Okay, I've done it. Uh, oh, yay, you're all done moving. Yay, okay. I'm putting the bread into this loaf pan. It's uh, definitely sticky and weird. Guys, if this works, I'm a genius. I'm just gonna say that now. If this works, who would have thought? Like who would have thought? Beer bread? Not me. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of try to mold it in here a little so it fits. Um, it's so weird that you don't like knead it or anything. Like you just put it in and and you bake it, which doesn't seem right. Does it? Where's Pietro? Yeah, where's Pietro? He's Italian. He knows how to bake bread, I'm sure. <laughs> I would assume. Check the size of that bowl. Okay, here's the bread. Gosh, this light's a little bright, so there, so you can so you can see that it's it's supposed to be holy and stuff. Like it's supposed to look like that, says the recipe. Uh, hey, hey, Dark Knight Silver, subbed years ago for game stuff, stayed for beer bread. I mean, we're trying it. If this turns out good, who knows? Who knows? This could be the future of bread baking, even though this is the past of beer breaking. Okay, beer baking. Um, bake the bread for 45 minutes. Great, into the oven. Here we go. Say goodbye. We'll see you soon. All right. Hey Siri, set a timer for 45 minutes. Okay, 45 minutes and counting. Awesome. Okay, so while that one's in there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make another one. Hold on, I gotta see if I have more flour though. I'm not sure I have another three cups of flour. Which would be a bummer because I didn't add the cheese in there. Oh, I do have more flour. Huzzah! Okay, all is well. I have more flour. So, 
This one is going to be the experimental one. This is going to be the one that is like, oh, I'm going to just throw random things in there and see if it works. Hey, Jordan. I have to grab another beer. Hang on. my beer. Katie, what about Corona beer? That's what I have. I'm using Corona beer to bake beer bread because it's the only beer I have. If I had other beers, I would try to see like, ooh, which beer works the best when making beer bread, but I don't have any more beer. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Haley. Jack saying, just tuning in. Hi, hello. No, okay, so I didn't forget the cheese, guys. Don't freak out. Um, I'm putting the cheese in this next one. So another three cups of flour. I'm going to spoon into the bowl, and then we're going to sift it again. This is really easy if it turns out good. I mean, oh, what am I doing? Clearly, I'm not doing this the right way. And now I have to wash this cup. Oy. <laughs> I thought you were going to pull out an already done one like on cooking shows. Wouldn't that be amazing? If I was just like, hey, Piper. If I was just like, all right, guys, that's how you bake it. Oh, and then here's the perfectly done one that I spent a week perfecting. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Legend of Adam is saying, my cousin said that the corona, that corona beer has been losing money as of lately. Yeah, which is such a shame because what, people are afraid beer is giving them a virus? That's ridiculous. That just goes to show how many dumb people there are out there. So I'm actually happy I can support corona in their time of need. <laughs> Ooh, by the way, I'm currently typing a six page APA paper that is due midnight and watching your stream. Happy Sunday, friend. Ooh. Well, can you write your paper on beer bread? <laughs> and how people in the ancient times used to use beer instead of yeast because yeast was hard to find? See, look, I just turned it into an educational um, segment for you. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so funny. All right, I'm happy you guys tune in for my cooking streams because honestly, I, uh, I don't know. It's fun to mix it up. It's fun to do other things. My dad says you have good taste in beer. Thanks, dad. Thanks, Pony Girls dad. Um, it's funny, I, are any of my Scottish friends here? Because they're probably like, oh, that beer's not a beer you should be drinking or using, but Okay, you know what? I don't have any Irish or Scottish beer. All right, one cup. Mm. Oh, Oops. Okay. One cup of flour. I'm gonna open up this other bag of flour that I have. Oh, wow, you had a friend who used to make a beer turkey on Thanksgiving? Oh, boy. I have heard of that, but I don't think I've ever seen it. So I'm one of those people who every time I cook with flour, I get it all over the place. So I'm trying to go slow. Still got it all over the place. Cool, good for me. Okay, I'm dumping one flour into the other flour. It just seemed easier and it kind of was uh u.s kitchens are fancy oh hey thanks bruce beer plus bread equals things i must avoid oh no well thanks for the donation there's your donation dance <laughs> all this beer talk made me go grab a beer good for you all right moving on to my second cup of flour. 
I really hope this works. Although you do kind of need a lot of flour. Okay, trying not to make a mess here. Really trying. Hey, what's up, Rob? Welcome. Katie, do you even have real beer? Oh, hi, Tobias. <laughs> no, I don't have any beer that you would approve of. Tobias lives in Germany, everyone. So he lives with all the yummy, delicious beer. But you know what? Different, different beers are, are okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, Yingling. Okay, that's a that's like a New York beer. I have had it. It's pretty good. All right, three cups of flour. And we're going to sift it. My favorite part, sifting. Okay. Uh, hey, Yo Ranger is here. Hello. All right, sifting some flour. Not well. <laughs> Wait, you gonna use lime with that Corona? No, I don't have any lime. But I'm not drinking it, I'm just baking with it. You know, just baking. Oh, I do have Game of Thrones beer. I forgot about that actually. I keep it hidden away. <laughs> I keep it hidden away and no one can drink it because I'm like collecting it and I, I want to, I'm trying to find some of the older ones. Hey, Sarah, what's up? We're baking bread. Oh, Yingling's from Pennsylvania. I just remember seeing it in New York. We're baking beer bread. We're trying this crazy recipe and making beer bread. Hey, Serenity. I'm sifting flour. Probably not well, but it's happening. All right, done with that. What's funny is that some places have it as an import beer and have had to try them. Yeah, it's true. We import it, I think, here to California just to get it. It's hard to find. Um, Oh my gosh. Okay. So there's my flour. Okay. Now we need, oh yeah, I was doing two tablespoons of sugar because I figured recipe calls for two to four. So we'll do, we'll do two. What kind of beer am I going to use? Sarah, don't make fun of me. This is all I had. This is all I had. Corona light. Wait, was that what the first one was? Was the first one a light? Yeah, oh, I'm using Corona light. <laughs> oh no, I hope that works the same. <laughs> oh no, I didn't even think about that. Don't they like take out um, some of the, I don't know, the calories? I don't know how. One. Oh well, we're making a light bread beer. Oh no, I hope it still works okay. All right, sugar. And now we need butter. Two tablespoons of butter, which is about there. Okay, and we're gonna melt that in my futuristic microwave. Butter away. Okay, now I have to open this beer. Hey, Techie Games! <laughs> Katie, try making a video without makeup? Uh. No. <laughs> uh. All right. Um. Uh. 
Uh oh, are you guys being naughty in there in the comments? Calm down. <laughs> hey, Jordan, thank you. Thank you. I got to be a superhero. Thanks, Jordan. All right, we have butter, two tablespoons of butter. Hopefully, that makes the bread nice and fluffy. I'm definitely not tipsy. I haven't had anything to drink except for one tiny, tiny little sip. Okay, adding the butter and the beer. But we also need to add the cheese. Oh, and I wanted to brush the top with some garlic. Right? Wouldn't that be good? Let's do that. So I do have garlic here. Just like a little, a little garlic butter would be good. If I can uh, just put my butter away too, I forgot. Good thing I have like 8,000 cutting boards. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put my butter in here. I'm gonna melt that quickly. Just gonna crush up some garlic. Garlic, yeah, garlic on top. That's what I'm gonna do. So, where's my garlic press? I'm putting cheese inside this bread and I'm gonna dust it with some garlic butter. And I'm hoping that this one kind of turns out like um, Red Lobster's cheddar biscuits. <laughs> Cause those things are so good. All right. Gotta melt this butter. Okay. Just on my Marvel video. Thank you. Thank you. How was the Emma Watchathon? It was good. It was fun. Um, I really want Universal to let me host a Trolls 2 Watchathon. Watch along. Wouldn't that be fun? I cannot wait for Trolls 2. I was obsessed with the first trolls. Whoa, Ed Powell saying, we had an Easter miracle Friday night. We found a box of Kleenex at the grocery store. Wow. Wow, I haven't had those biscuits in so long. Yeah. All right. All right, so now I'm gonna add the beer and it gets all foamy. Wish you could see better. I need like multi-cam in my kitchen so you guys can see it all. Alas, I am not a cook <laughs> at all. All right, and now I'm gonna add this cheese. I don't know how much cheese to add, so. Cheese. Just gonna, there, I've added cheese. And somehow this is all gonna come together and work. Mixing it up. <laughs> Grill, girl, Red Lobster smacks so hard. You can, ooh, you can make them? Yum. I do love me some Cheddar Bay biscuits. Yeah, we need a top down cam. <laughs> okay. I wonder what would happen if I added just a little bit of butter garlic. This one's not getting as like put together as the last one. It looks like the batter used in fish and chips. Huh. Did I, I added all the beer. Hmm. This doesn't seem to want to come together as much as the last one did. Maybe it's the cheese, I made it a little denser. I'm just gonna add like a tiny little splash of butter. Just a little, there we go. And maybe that'll help out. I mean, it is, it's coming together. Ugh, it's difficult. It smells really good though. All right, looks like bread. <laughs> Katie, you're making a cake. I'm not making a cake. I'm making 
Uh, I'm making bread. I'm making beer bread. All right. I'm gonna spray down this loaf pan. Sorry for the clanking. Hey, Joey's Movie Blog, hello. All right, I'm gonna dump this cheesy, I hope I put enough cheese in there. Cheesy loaf into the pan. I hope this turns out good, guys. Wouldn't that be awesome? Just like so random. All right, it's in there. It's there, can you see it? <laughs> now, I'm gonna dust it on top with some garlic butter. Modern X Nation, hello. Ever make cornflake chicken? No. No, I have not. Should have kneaded in the beer gradually, then the cheese. It, it just, it, it gets very, um, I don't know, it like comes together really quickly. So you have to, you kind of have to, I don't know. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, get in the brush. I can find it. Ah. I have my brush. And now I have some garlic butter here. Just some melted butter with garlic. And I'm just going to dust the top of this with some garlic butter. I am hoping that it works. All right. I think that works. <laughs> it's going to be a disaster, but edible. Come on now. All right. I have to set another timer for 45 minutes. Did I add cheese in the other one? No, I only put cheese in this one. Now I'm going to put it in the oven and let's see how this goes. Hopefully they'll, I know they're going to bake at different times, but that's totally fine. All right. Can I set a timer on my crazy microwave? Timer. 45. Start. I just get to clean up and, and talk to you guys and eat some cheese. <laughs> what cereal do I eat the most? I don't eat a lot of cereal, but I really love cereal. Um, my favorite cereal is Captain Crunch Berries. Um, I love Captain Crunch Berries. Who's putting stuff away? You know, if this works out, I could make another batch, not today, but anytime I want. And I could add like mozzarella and pepperoni and make like a pizza bread. Wouldn't that be good? Give Lucky some cheese. I don't think she's down here. Yeah, she's not here right now. Otherwise, I would definitely give her some cheese. She loves it. Twinkie cereal? Girl, I can't get over the backsplash kitchen wall. It's like my Pinterest kitchen dream by. Aw. <laughs> Thank you. I do love my kitchen. I feel like it's super messy, though. It is a little messy. But yeah, I love my kitchen. Um, OK. Anytime, oops, anytime you leave like flour anywhere, it just like congeals to your counter. So I don't want that to happen. Yep. Honeycomb, cinnamon a toast crunch. Hey, Tom, uh, Tim, <laughs> uh, you didn't miss anything. Uh, we haven't tried the bread yet. The first one will be done really soon. 
Oh yeah, I said I was going to eat cheese. I need a knife. Clearly, I can't cut it though. <laughs> make a lasagna. I don't have stuff to make lasagna. Did you guys see what I made last night for dinner? I made Cajun chicken pasta last night for dinner and it was so good. Hello. <laughs> How much time is left on the first bread? 20 minutes. And the second bread will be, oh, Lucky. Lucky, do you want some cheese? Um, and then the second one will be about 40, 40 minutes. Ooh, ooh, oh, Michelle, this is such a good, good question. What food do I want to try to make, but I'm too intimidated to try? Asian dishes. Like, I make pot stickers from scratch, because my parents taught me how to do that. But, Lucky, come here. Want some cheese? Come here. Up, up. Good girl. She loves cheese. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm so intimidated, uh, of making like, I don't know, like Thai noodles or pad siu or chow mein or basically Asian dishes. I'm very intimidated by just because they require so, so much work, like, and so many different ingredients that I feel like I can't get at a lot of places. So yeah. <laughs> um, I can sprinkle cheese on top of the first loaf while it's baking. Well, I want to try the first loaf how it is, like just plain. I want to see how the recipe tastes. Um, and also I'm afraid it might burn. Um, Watched you made cookies the other day. They look good. Yeah, they were really good. Lucky has a big arm. <laughs> Make like gothic or medieval recipes. I am making a medieval recipe, but I do have the Game of Thrones cookbook. Should we dive into that next week? If I have ingredients. So that's the thing. It's not like I can make anything that I want because I don't have ingredients. Ooh, curry. I can't make curry. <gasps> I would love to learn how to make curry. I love curry. So that would be amazing. But yeah, that's really intimidating. Yeah, I did make a uh, Cajun chicken pasta. So it was really good. Am I going to butter the beer bread before eating it? Duh. Of course. Tara, the only thing I can make is cereal. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, Darwin is saying my mom was so proud of me when I learned how to make egg rolls. Yum. That sounds so good. Michelle's saying, girl, I feel you. Oh my God. We make Asian dishes all the time at my house, but my mom makes the best. Pan oh, Filipino noodles and Filipino spaghetti. Yum. That sounds so good. The curry in Japan was so good. Yeah. I've never been to Japan. Does the... Game of Thrones cookbook have Arya's meat pies. Ooh, I don't know. I'll have to look. I also have a Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild cookbook, too. <laughs> Is there real beer in the bread? Yes. I put real beer inside of the bread. Um, um, I need to make curry. Oh my gosh, yeah, right. Hi, Jonathan. My weekend's going good. My mom's texting me. She's like, stick to the original recipe. I'm like, mom, it's done already. I already made the thing. Sorry. Hey, Luke. What's up? Welcome. Um, Breath of the Wild cooking would be awesome. I, I, could, I could try that, but... I don't know if I have the ingredients, so I'll have to check the cookbook. 
What about dessert? What sweet treat do you want to make next? Uh, again, I have to make what I have as far as ingredients goes, uh, but I do have cake mix. So I was thinking of baking a cake next week, probably. It's been fun to do like one cooking video a week. I don't know. I like it. Uh, Darwin, what intimidated me is cooking turkey for Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's a little intimidating, I would say. Um, hey, Victor, welcome. Nokia puppy, hi. Uh, I'm gonna get some water. Hang on, guys. Just gotta grab my glass. Well, it's not really a glass, but a giant plastic cup. Yeah, I can, am I cooking? Yeah, I made, I'm baking bread, it's in the oven. You can't see it though. Nope, wrong way. Can't see it yet, but who knows? I hope it turns out good. Hey, Glorious, what's up? Did the first bread rise? Ugh. Guys, I'm too afraid to look. I don't want to look yet. What if I screwed it all up? Think of all the flour I wasted if I screwed up. <laughs> um... But I, yeah, I'm baking beer bread. The recipe is in the description if you want to check it out. It's flour, sugar, butter, and beer. <laughs> That's it, which is crazy. Oh, I love these cooking streams. It's so relaxing and just, it's so refreshing to just relax and hang out with you this way. Aw, it's, <laughs> it's like we're there with you or watching a cooking show. Aw. Yeah, I've heard of people dipping meat in beer. People make beer cheese soup, which is great. But yeah. Oh, Victor is saying, what's the actor's name who plays Ren on Even Stevens? Christy Carlson Romano. And I know she's got a cooking show. I love her. I love her. But she cooks with famous Disney people. Uh, but yeah, that's like dream collab status. <laughs> Peter, I should do a stream with Lucky. Lucky makes it in my streams. She does. She makes it into my streams occasionally, which is good. Gosh, I feel like the, my camera changes the light. Oh God, that's bright, it's too bright, too bright. Have I made it before? Says Simon the Legend. No, I have never made this bread before. You guys literally just caught me the very first time making beer bread. Cooking streams are wholesome. Yeah, I'd agree, I'd agree. <laughs> I think it'd be great if you have a famous chef to stream with you. I'd be scared of, I'd be scared of Chef Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. That is true. I think I would be too. I think I would be too. He's a little terrifying. <laughs> um, so what do you guys have planned for today? What are you up to? Any fun plans for this? Stay at home Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Alfredo. What's up? Guys, where's Pietro? I'm concerned. Oh, we only have 15 more minutes on the first bread. I hope it turns out good. Although you're, you're not supposed to cut into bread until it's fully cooled or you ruin it, which is crazy. That'd be crazy. Ugh, I'm hungry. <laughs> More Animal Crossing in 80s movies? Same today as every day's work, work, work. I've lost track of days playing Animal Crossing. How's my day going? Good. Yeah, I'm gonna keep watching The Witcher. Yes, so good. Um, nothing really, just watching Disney. Learning Japanese, whoa. Church. Uh, you liked my singing in the Game of Thrones video. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait to try the beer, to, uh, the beer, the, the bread, the beer bread. I can't wait to try it. It could taste terrible, but I'm gonna try it. I don't know if it's supposed to get like 
crispy on the outside. Like, I don't, I don't know. I really just don't. I watched The Lion King earlier. Cool. Uh, just hanging out, what movie would you recommend? Uh, hey, Kathy, hello from Alabama. Hi, Kathy. Um, I am just baking some beer bread um, and seeing how this works. I put the recipe in the description below and it's currently in the oven. We only have a few more minutes and then we're gonna find out how it is. <sighs> Uh, yeah, I should try making bacon and onion pudding. It's flour. Okay. Oof, I don't think I have all those ingredients. <laughs> I don't have those ingredients. My favorite eighties movie. I don't know. Uh, Yay, Cooper, I'm only on episode three, but I'm tossing a coin to my witcher. Yay. Hi, Audrey. Hello. Gabriel saying, I liked your ma Magic the Gathering video. You were really funny in it. Thanks so much. Thank you. Rob saying, fresh baked bread out of the oven is a joy, especially if you can get butter and peanut butter on straight away. What does Lucky look like? You already saw Lucky. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how this bread turns out too. Prigu! Hello! Oh, you want to watch it? Ooh, it's scary, but it's fun. It is definitely fun. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Bruce and DZ Giveaways and Red Buick and Night Howler for supporting this stream. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. And, uh, and watching me bake some bread. What's my favorite dish to cook? Ooh. I love making filet mignon. I think that's my favorite. I made some the other night and it was really good. <laughs> Jack saying, Katie was savage in that magic video. Um, Gargoyles is awesome. Favorite season of Power Rangers? I don't know, one? <laughs> um, yeah. Lots of TV and movie watching, for sure. Hey, SM Down. Lasagna. <laughs> I don't have lasagna noodles, sorry. I do have spaghetti, but I already cooked it. It's in the fridge and it's just, it's just there. Um, I, last night I watched, um, what's that movie? Downhill. Cause it's got two of my favorite people in it. Julia Louis-Dreyfus, who I love, and then it has uh, Will Ferrell in it, also who I love. And I was actually kind of bummed. They, the movie like wasn't, wasn't that funny. So made me sad because I wanted it to be funnier. And I wanted them to be able to like be their personalities and be themselves. And I feel like it was just a weird movie. Such a bummer because I love them, especially Julia Louis-Dreyfus. She's so good, love her. Um, oh, hey, Ed Powell, thank you. Thank you, here's your donation dance. Someone should turn this into a gift. <laughs> oh, I'm weird and I can't dance. So that's the kind of dance you get. Uh, oh gosh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm trying. Oh, is it L or I? Raphael? Raphael, Raphael, I'm in middle. I'm in the middle of the first book of The Witcher. Should I watch the series? Yes, it's so good. It's so good. Uh, Last Dwarf, have I watched The Tiger King? You bet I have. I'm I'm done with The Tiger King. I watched the whole se I watched the whole season. So good, so good. Zach, hello, hello, Zach. Um. <laughs> Floss Katie. Weird is good, that's why we're here. Yeah, well, that's that's what you get when you donate um, to my streams. You get a weird dance, because that's all I can do. <laughs> More you donate, the weirder the dance gets. <laughs> Am I watching the, oh, um, I watched the new Jumanji. I didn't like it as much as the first Jumanji. Um, 
<laughs> Soccer is saying, should we try to come up with some kind of catchphrase for you to say after you take your first bite of bread? Sure. Ah, oh, Gabriel, you sound like a fun person to be around. Thank you. Your dances are what make it so special. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Uh, your yeast imagery. <laughs> Uh, do I have any interesting conspiracy theories? No, I don't. I really don't. Uh, no, sorry. I don't have any conspiracy theories that I believe in. I've heard some crazy ones, but I don't think I have any that are like, that I believe in. Um, yeah, everyone's saying the new Jumanji reused too many jokes. I just didn't like that they weren't in the bodies that they were in in the first movie. I know they were trying to like mix it up and have different people be different people, but no, it bothered me. And I missed Madison, like I missed, or uh, what's, yeah, Madison's the actress's name, right? But uh, I missed her character in Bethany. Bethany's her character. I missed her in the film, so. I wanted her to be in it more as Jack Black as her. So I don't know, weird, but yeah. Ooh, Birds of Prey, so good. Watch Birds of Prey. That movie is fun. <laughs> Donate a thousand dollars, she'll put on a tinfoil hat while doing the running man. I would, I would waste my, my tinfoil to make a hat specifically for that, I would. What's my favorite superhero? I don't know. I love Thor and I love Jean Grey. Um, am I going to pick up a Blu-ray copy of Rise of Skywalker? No. I don't buy movies, like physical copies of movies. Um, only occasionally. Jack, you should watch the first of the re rebooted Jumanji movies. They're not the same. They're not trying to take uh, the place of the first movie. They're different. They're completely different. You could almost picture it as like an alternate universe. It's really, really good. Jack Black as a teenage girl is always hilarious. Yeah, I know. I loved it. I loved it. I don't think I need a catchphrase. <laughs> Have I always wanted to name my dog Lucky or is that the name it's been, have you always wanted to name your dog Lucky or is that name always been a favorite? Um, no, it was a cop out name to be honest. Um, it was just like a, I don't know what to name this creature and she, I don't know. It's a, it's not a great name. I, I would probably want to name her something else, but now she's lucky. Like everyone calls her the duck cause she's just the duck. That's duck. She's a duck. That's just what everyone calls her. So she's lucky the duck duck. And, uh, <laughs> but no, I don't know. I wanted to name her a bunch of things. Hey, Mo, AKA, AKA. Thanks for subscribing. Cookies is back. Hello, Christopher. Hello. Um, <laughs> Red Buick, I should be in the next Thor movie for my character. That'd be awesome. Uh, all you can do is go right to Marvel and let them know you liked my superhero and that you want to see more of her and you never know what can happen. The internet is a powerful place. Um, <laughs> What's the best Sonic game? Oh gosh, I don't know. Oh, Tim, I disagree with your Birds of Prey comment. Does my dad own a farm? No. Oh, Darwin, thank you. Thank you for your donation. Donation dance, donation dance. Thank you. Oh gosh, I almost knocked stuff over. Ha, huh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Darwin. <laughs> Did I have a favorite dog breed before her? Um, 
Mike, oh wait, Mike White is saying, are you using beer? Yes, I used Corona beer because it's all I had. And I put that in the bread and it's baking and it should be done any minute, four minutes, and then we're gonna try it. Um, yeah, Lucky is a Rhodesian Ridgeback Shepherd mix. I've always liked Shepherd mixes. I also like Pitbull mixes and Retriever mixes. And yeah, so anyway, um, I just, I don't know. I like big dogs or medium to big dogs. And so I saw her as a little puppy at a farmer's market. <laughs> this, this like, um, animal rescue group just had all these puppies in a, in a kennel. And I was like, this is my puppy. Yeah. So I picked her out, picked her out. She was my, she was my girl. <laughs> you didn't have to dance. It's fine. I dance for all donations. It's become a thing. Okay. Uh, birds of praise on Amazon prime. I think it's everywhere. Is it on prime already? I think I thought it was for digital download. <laughs> um, favorite show right now? The Witcher. Mandalorian. Hey, Brian. You're the coolest. Thanks for joining. Uh, I'm guessing Corona is one of your go-to alcohol drinks. No. If I drink beer, I like, I like craft beers and I like harp. I really like, um, like Irish, Scottish beers. Um, but I also like Corona. Corona's great. Um, but no, my, my drink of choice is wine. Always red wine. Um, Hey, Mr. Scary. Frankie, am I a retro gamer? I mean, if the N64 is retro, then I'm a retro gamer. Um, and the donation dance is an official Katie Wilson trademark. Exactly. Uh, we got two minutes on the first bread. Definitely Witcher. Inferno Delta. Hi. Welcome. We're making beer bread. And it's almost done. Two minutes. Sarah, I'm watching Outland Outlander. Yeah, I know I need to watch Outlander. Hi, Lord Chaos from the United Kingdom. Hello. Favorite craft beer? Ooh, I love Amagang beers. I really do. Like the Game of Thrones beer, beers are so good. So I really do like Game of Thrones beer. John Awakens, do you like streaming on YouTube better than Twitch? Um, I don't think I have a preference. I just, yeah, yeah, actually I do. I like streaming on YouTube. Lee Kinnard, Kinnard hello, welcome. And Opti Optinon is here. Wow, I cannot talk today. Hey guys, the bread is almost done. We have one minute and 20 seconds left. And then we're gonna see how this bread turned out that I made with beer, with actual beer, literal beer. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, what else? If you like Scottish beers, then you should try Anis and Gun. Okay. Pony Girl, I really want to watch Outlander. I haven't watched Outlander. It's like the one show that I feel like I'd really, really, really like that I don't. <laughs> Arbor Wine or Dornish Wine? <laughs> Napa Wine. <laughs> um, first thing you want to do when the quarantine ends, says the mom diary. I want to go to Disneyland. I was supposed to go like literally the week that this whole outbreak happened and bummed me out. And I'm paying for an annual pass. You think they're going to like take off some, some of my monthly annual pass money. I don't know. Um, do I have a family cookbook? My mom made me a cookbook when I moved out of the house. So I have like some family recipes. I would love to put one together though, because my family has some incredible recipes. Um, I would love to do that. PK, did I watch the boys? Yes. I love the boys. Such a good show. <gasps> First one's done. I think it said 45 to 55 minutes. So we're going to check it and hopefully it's done. It doesn't look done at all. Um, we're going to, we're going to leave it in there. It doesn't look done at all. Hey Siri, set a timer for seven minutes. Okay. Seven <laughs> minutes and counting. 
yeah, um, it didn't look done, so I'm going to let it keep cooking. Um, do I watch any podcasts on YouTube? No, nope, I don't. Do you vlog any videos? Yeah, I have lots of vlogs. I've got like 800 videos on my YouTube channel. Take a, take a look around. But beer bread is good. Yeah, we'll see if it turns good. If it turns out good, we'll see. <laughs> Which annual pass did I get? I think I got the one that lets me go any day, except at Christmas. Um, a lot of people here in Orlando who work at Disney World. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, yeah, I really want to go to Disneyland. Uh, I miss it. I also miss going out to dinner, which is so weird. It's like, I don't know. There's just something about someone else cooking for you and eating something that you wouldn't normally make at home. I've been cooking so much every single day of the quarantine because, you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of money and order food, order food, order food. So I've just been cooking a lot and I'm, I'm tired of it, but I'm liking it but I'm like sick of my own food, if that makes sense. I want someone else to make me something that isn't my own food or my own recipe. <laughs> King's Landing or Winterfell? King's Landing, better weather. Um, am I gonna do a giveaway? Yeah, I do lots of giveaways. I don't think I have anything to give away right now, but I'm actually waiting to hear if I can give something away. So come back on Monday-ish. Victor is saying, this is the first time hearing about beer bread. Is it actually a thing? Apparently it is. This is my first time trying it. And um, we're going to find out if, if it works. Who knows? There's beer in the bread instead of yeast because there's no, can, can't get any yeast. So there you go. Um, haven't been to Disneyland since 2002. Ooh, blue milk from Star Wars. I tried it. It tastes weird. It's weird. Um, it gets tiring after a while. Cooking all the time? Yeah. Girl, this quarantine got me impulsively buying things for no reason, even though I'm a broke college student. Stop buying stuff. Oh my gosh, stop. You're missing dinner and wine at the restaurant. I am, I am. At least you're able to save yourself a bit of money cooking for myself. It's true. It's true. Samsung or Apple? Apple. Unless it's a PC, but I don't know. I like Samsung other things. But if it's just phones. Do I know the difference between chives and green onion? Yeah, ch chives are dried, right? No, that'd be dried chives. Chives are green onion, but um, yeah. They're the same thing. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, you guys, what are some of the things that you want to do uh, when you get out of quarantine? Oh, do they let you pour blue milk on blue cereal? They should because the blue milk tastes like cereal. Audrey's saying go for a Taco Bell run. I know, I love Taco Bell. Um, <laughs> soccer saying, should we look up poison control center number just in case? Nah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Is Game of Thrones worth watching? Yes, it absolutely is worth watching. It is a wonderful show until it's not. What prizes would I give away? I've been giving away things like games and, um, and Nintendo Switches, and uh, I've given away lots of things. Lots of things. Invest in airline stock. All right, I'm waiting for this bread. It's not like getting golden brown, like bread should be, right? So, I don't know what to do. Like, at what point are you overcooking it? Yes, I want to see Onward. I really do. Okay, hang on. I'm, it says 45 to 50 minutes. Insert a toothpick until the loaf comes out clean with only a few crumbs clinging to it. Okay. So I'm going to have to try that. I think I have toothpicks. 
Toothpicks. Can you give me Pokemon Sword? No, I can't give you anything. Um, enjoy the bread. Oh, Jack's leaving. All right, bye, Jack. Get that bread. It's not done yet. It's almost done. It smells good. It smells really good, especially the garlic, the cheese garlic one smells the best, I think. Turn up the stove. No, can't turn up the stove. Low and slow. Low and slow. Have I seen the Starbucks coffee cup in Game of Thrones? Yes, that was hilarious. Um, oh, you saw Onward, that's awesome. Yes, Onward is not on Disney Plus, but you can download it uh, digital, on digital. It's really good, it's really good. It's really, really good. So, hanging out with my girlfriend when I get out of quarantine. Aw, that's awesome. Hey Danny, this is your warning. You say one more thing inappropriate and I'm gonna block you. Um, or I'm gonna have one of my mods block you. You're borderline sometimes. Uh, do I know my personality type? Uh, oh, or my rising moon sign, yes. Okay, so my friend actually like did this whole reading of me, which was hilarious. So my, Star sign, or yeah, my star sign is Cancer. My moon is Gemini, and my rising is Aquarius. <laughs> New merch ideas? For what? For what? Uh, um. I love that description. It's wonderful until it's not. It's true. It's true. All right. I don't know what to do here. I guess I've got to put the, the toothpick in it and see what happens. So I'm going to try that. Yeah, it's done. It just didn't get golden brown. And the other one has butter on it, and it also didn't get golden brown. It looks like it's not cooked, but it's definitely cooked. It's definitely cooked. I'm checking the recipe. Hang on, guys. Because I want to see if I screwed something up. I don't think I did, though. I don't think I did. Um. Oh, your cancer too, says Piper. Victor, you're a Capricorn. Gabriel, I love your hair, it's curly. Thank you. Try that bread. It has to cool. Why would you put beer on bread? I'm not putting it on bread. It's um, it's in the bread. Yeah, I have to let the bread rest a little bit, but I'll show you guys what it looks like. I need another pot holder. It kind of got brown like around the edges, but the top didn't. It does smell good. It kind of smells like beer though. See? <laughs> Who would have thought? It's just the way it looks with beer, I guess. Yeah, it's like a lighter color than normal bread, but it's it's like hard on top. Not super hard though. Maybe I should have cooked it longer. No, because I put the toothpick in it. I don't know. You know, I don't know. It is what it is. No, you cannot get drunk from this bread. All of the alcohol cooks off. <laughs> Yay, Adam and Piper are cancers. Yay. Michelle, I'm a Virgo, how appropriate. <laughs> it does look nice, I mean, we'll see. See how it turns out. You guys are saying it looks good. I wish you all could try. I wish I could send you all a piece of bread. 
I really wish I could. Because it does look really good. I don't know. I think that cheese bread is going to be better because I have a feeling it's going to taste like beer. You know? I have a feeling. <laughs> it looks good and yummy. Where's Spartan? Where is Spartan? Or Zach? Aw, bye, Aaron. <laughs> A masterpiece. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. What would you put on your beer bread? Butter, cinnamon, jam. Well, probably butter. Probably butter. Vegeta is saying, now I want to try it for myself. Yeah. I mean, I'll let you know it tastes in like a minute or so. Yeah, it should cool down before I eat it. <laughs> At the end of the day, uh, that bread is made up of love and hard work. Jacob, how's the bread coming along? The first one's out of the oven. There it is. And it's fine looking. Looks a little strange. Um, if it does, if it does taste good, then that's a success for sure. I'm trying to look up pictures and other people's pictures, it was a little more brown on top. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope it tastes good. I really do. I really do. I hope it's going to be good. Um, never tried this before. <laughs> Never even baked bread before. Gabriel, how's Andre? He's good, he's doing good. If you go check out his Instagram story, you can see the uh, all of his uh, mini arcade games that he has, which is awesome. As soon as it's safe, get it out of the pan, put it on a rack and finish cooling. Okay, let me see if I have one. I think I, oh yeah. Want to use for cookies. <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, favorite Pixar movie? Ooh, Wally -E and Nemo and Monsters Inc. and Up. I love all of them. I love Pixar movies. Um, most embarrassing story. <laughs> I don't know. I have a lot of embarrassing stories, to be honest. Um, <laughs> micro retro gaming. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I've never heard of beer bread, but I wouldn't mind trying it. Yeah, I. It's a weird hack. It's like it's like bread hacking. So that's that's what I'm doing. I'm hacking this recipe and putting beer in bread. I'm gonna try to take it out of the pan and put it on this cooling rack, see how that works. I don't, oh yeah, I think it's gonna come out of here. It smells like beer though, which is not that appealing to me, but oh boy. Well, oh gosh, I'm, I'm ruining everything. Ah. It's very dense. I'll give it that. It does smell like bread. <laughs> the top looks weird. And it's very dense. So, yeah. Who knows? But hopefully it's gonna be good. I just want it to cool down so I can eat it. Hack the bread. I should have maybe added some salt. Don't people put salt in bread? I feel like that's a thing people do. Never tried that. Never made bread. One time I made pretzels. I had a friend once who makes homemade pretzels and I tried that with them. Story time with Katie. Oh God, I don't know. Um, have I ever been to Hawaii? No. Oh, Ed, you got my drawing. Yay. Okay, good. Kind of looks like soda bread. Yeah, it kind of does. I'm nervous to try it, not gonna lie. 
is there a food or meal you would like to make but haven't tried to make? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of anything. Story time. I don't have any stories. Hey, Francisco. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Um, quick shout out to Darwin, Ed Powell, Bruce, DZ Giveaways, Red Buick, and Night Howler for supporting this stream today uh, with your YouTube super chats and donations. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. Um, and thanks for all just hanging out and waiting around for me to try this beer bread. <laughs> like what? It looks like a hockey puck. It's very dense. It smells like bread, but it smells like beer. I guess because it's beer bread, but still. Still, who knows? I wonder if the beer would taste better. Hey, Toasty Buns. If, um, I wonder if the bread would taste better if I used like different types of beer. Like, who knows? Ooh, what's a foreign country you'd like to visit but haven't yet? New Zealand and Norway. I really want to go to Norway and New Zealand. Ah, uh, guys, where's Pietro? Didn't he miss my stream yesterday too? Oh, Jack Cutler, thank you. Thanks for being here. Has anyone been to the Grand Canyon? I have been to the Grand Canyon. What movie or TV show food would you like to try and make? Oh gosh. I would like to try to make some of the Game of Thrones cookbook. I think that'd be really fun. Um, or making my own butter beer. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I don't know. That's so tough. It's such a tough one. Um, yeah, New Zealand because they filmed Lord of the Rings and Xena. And Xena. That's why. So, yeah. Oh, I'm really hungry. I want to eat this bread. How long do you have to... Should we ask Siri? Well, wait, didn't the recipe tell me to wait a certain amount? Let's see. Uh, wait till the bread cools completely. Hey, Red Buick, thanks for the super chat. You get a donation, dance a donation, dance a donation, dance. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, weird how all the TV commercials change from selling something to staying home. Yep. Uh, never seen Game of Thrones. What's it all about? I don't have enough time. And I'm in a quarantine. <laughs> okay, it looks like the other bread is done. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's check it out. Well, this one definitely got more brown because of the cheese. So I'm gonna do the whole toothpick test and see if it actually is done, or if it needs longer. But yeah, they don't get very brown on top. Yeah, apparently that's supposedly done. Okay. I guess that one's done. Oh, now I get two I get to try. That's exciting. Uh, oh, you've been to New Zealand. I should go to the Philippines. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's like musical chairs, but with more depth. Oh, Sarah, thank you. Donation, dance, donation, dance from Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Hello, what is in the bread? Okay, so the, I put the recipe in the description below. Um, it's beer, <laughs> flour, butter, and sugar. That's it. Um, and I used Corona beer because it's all I had, not trying to be ironic. <laughs> um, bread made with beer, that's basically it. Uh, but thanks for joining. Katie cooks flaming peeps. <laughs> I tried using, uh, why do I have to wait for it to cool completely to eat it? I, I still think that I should just cut off like a little, a little piece. I'll give it a few more minutes though.
How about the UK? Yeah, I would like to go back to the UK. Never been to Wales, that would be cool. But I really wanna go back to Scotland. Really want to. When you eat the bread, will you get drunk? No, all of the beer, all of the alcohol in the beer completely cooks off. So a lot of dishes are made with wine or beer and uh, anytime that you cook with alcohol, the alcohol cooks out. So there, will, there is uh, no beer, no alcohol left in the bread. Um, yeah, because uh, yeast is something that used to be really difficult to come by. And so in the, in the olden days, uh, people would use beer to bake bread. So this is actually a, an old school type recipe. <laughs> Favorite convention, San Diego Comic-Con. So good. Um, yeah, but I really wanna go back to Scotland. Hey, Jack Cutler. Thank you. You get a donation dance, a donation dance, a donation dance. And Jack is saying, does beer bread go with Jack and Coke? Hmm. If you wanted to, it could go with anything. <laughs> You're going to need wine and cheese with it. <laughs> Not with the beer. Oh, I guess with the, I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, We never waited for my grandma's bed bread to cool fully before we ate it because warm bread. Yeah, I'm not gonna let it get cold. That's just stupid. It's just stupid. Plus they say, let it cool before you slice the whole thing. And I'm not gonna slice the whole thing. I'm gonna just slice a piece for myself to try. A lot of places use whiskey and barbecue. Yeah, or wine in chicken dishes. like. If you've ever had chicken piccata or chicken marsala, marsala is wine. Um, so there's a, there's a whole lot of things. Oh, hey, Peter. Thank you. Donation dance, donation dance from Peter. Thank you. Um, so yeah, you never have to worry about alcohol <laughs> being in your food, um, unless it's a drink, obviously. Like there's a lot of uh, boozy, um, like, milkshakes that have alcohol in them or coffees that have alcohol in them. So yeah, you just gotta, gotta be sure. But anything that cooks, alcohol will cook right out. <laughs> yes, the bread's gonna be warm, guys, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> can I show the beer bread? Yes, so it's cooling right here. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it's, uh, kind of dense looking. It didn't get very golden brown on top. And so this is the plain one that I made. Oh geez, almost knocked it over. And then I also made another one with cheddar cheese and garlic butter on top. So I just kind of wanted to make two different ones um, to just See if they tasted differently. I feel like this one turned out way better. I'm not sure why, but we'll find out. So I'm gonna try both of them. <laughs> hey, Dale. Oh, it looks like this could come out already. Just don't want to end up knocking it over entirely. Cool, I did it. Yay, and I didn't make a mess. Awesome. So here's both of them. I'm gonna go slow, because if you guys know me, I'm a very clumsy human. The one in the front has the cheese in it and garlic, and the one in the back is just plain, plain, plain. Not gonna lie, the cheesy one smells way better. Aw, <laughs> thanks, Dale. Uh, Peter, yeah, I did see your donation and I danced. Thanks, Peter. I did, didn't I? Didn't I dance? I danced. Maybe I didn't say your name though. Sorry, Peter. Thank you. Thank you so much. Chris, hello. Quarantine shutdown. What's my favorite food? Ooh, Italian food. Italian food. I love Italian food so much. Second one does look a bit better. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure why, but it's it even seems more put together than the first one, if that makes sense. 
yeah, but this is like an old school, old timey recipe. So, yeah. Hey, Bobby Lee. Thanks for passing by. I hope you have a really good day. Point of using stout is for the extra yeast to helps it rise. Yeah, I should have, well, I don't have a stout, but maybe if I ever try this um, recipe again, when we can go to the grocery store, <laughs> then maybe I can try it up and do different things, mix it up. Uh, I Like I said, I wanna try, I bet you could add like rosemary and garlic or rosemary and cheese, or I wanna try like pepperoni and cheese. Oh, bye, Michelle. Mwah. Thanks for being here. Italian food is the best. It can never get enough pasta. I know. I know. So good. So good. Yeah, I really want to. These aren't getting colder. They're getting, they're just hot. This second loaf looks way better than the first. I don't know what was so different about it, but I have a feeling that the first loaf I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited to try it. This is like some weird science experiment that I get to try. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, I just want this to cool down quicker. Oh, I can turn the oven off, I guess. Huzzah. Huzzah. What are some places you guys want to visit? All I can do in quarantine is watch Netflix. Yeah, yeah. I understand that. Oof. Yes, Ed, me too, me too. My hands are falling apart due to all the hand washing. Yes. Any suggestions for effective hand cream? Yeah, um, CeraVe. Get, get like eczema hand cream if you can find it. I like your shirt. I got good vibes too. Yeah, good vibes. Waffle House closed the entire block down. You want to visit California? California is nice. I want to go to Japan. Yeah, I want to go back to Italy and Scotland and Switzerland and Hungary. Oh, those are my favorite places. <laughs> I'm not going to burn down my house. Yeah, the outbreak definitely sucks. Definitely sucks. Germany. Lee wants to visit Germany. I've never been to Germany. Adam wants to visit Ireland. Lots of really good answers. Pony Girl wants to go to Spain. Oh no, your trip got ruined. I'm sorry. Sorry, that sucks. You think, do you think it's okay for me to eat it yet? It's still really hot. I feel like that's what happens though. If you cut into it too soon, all the moisture leaves. <laughs> Is it true that people visit Arizona to look at cactus? Maybe. Aldri wants to go to Hawaii. Roland says the Netherlands. Alonzo says New Zealand. Um, Krieger says, what would I suggest for someone visiting LA? LA is so boring. I don't know, Eat. we have good food. Definitely go to some nice restaurants. You could go to the beach. I don't know. I find LA kind of boring. Go to Disneyland for sure. Uh, oh, Dark Knight Silver's leaving. All right, you're gonna have to come back. Uh, Pony Girl wants to go to Finland to see her family. What's my favorite type of car? <laughs> I don't really care for cars, sorry. Um, Yeah, I want to eat this bread. Look at this. Oh, it's so cool. It's so pretty. It smells really good, but it also smells like beer. Hmm. 
I mean, beer and cheese go really well together, so just assuming it's going to be good. Not a clue. The France trip you, trip you took was awesome. Yeah, thanks. I've been to France a lot just for like work stuff. Um, cut off the end, then another slice. Put the end. Oh, Sarah, that's smart. Drew Jefferson wants to go to England. Ben Heller wants to go to Germany for the castles. If you want castles, go to Scotland. Scotland castles are the best. Cooper wants to go to Tokyo or France. Frankie says Finland or the Czech, Czech Republic. Want to go to Disney World, the US, Portugal, Spain. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things. I think Japan would be fun. Never been to Japan. Oh, also, one of my favorite places was South Africa. Oh, bye, Ed. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Oh, Jordan, I do watch The Grand Tour, and I'm obsessed with it. I've seen, like, every episode of The Grand Tour. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I know, I'm not a car person, but I love that show. <laughs> Want to go to Paris, Prague in the UK? Nice. Have I seen the Nintendo Direct? No, I didn't watch it. Oh no, okay, guys, I'm gonna cut into this bread. I've decided it's happening. Let me get a bread knife and some butter. Bread knife. I need a butter knife. Okay, we're trying this bread. I don't care if it's not cold. What's in my background? It's a kitchen. Okay. All right, I'm cutting into it. Just a little, I'm cutting the end off. And then I'm gonna cut a little slice so I can put the end back on. Huh. All right, all right, all right. I hope it's good, I hope it's good. Here's the slice. The slice looks awesome. It's all steamy and hot. Are my ancestors from Ireland? Yes, Ireland, Scotland, and Italy. All right, I'm trying this. Add in some butter. You gotta have butter on your bread. This is crazy, guys. It looks like bread. It smells sort of like bread. Now we're gonna see if it tastes like bread. <laughs> I'm excited, are you guys ready? All right, Here, last chance for a catchphrase. Yum, yum, bread, here we go. It's good. I definitely think adding sugar was probably the wrong choice because it tastes, you can taste it, but it tastes like bread. It's just not very, I don't know. Like it's not terrible, but it's also like not the kind of bread that I would want to eat all the time. Really weird. But it's not terrible. You can kind of taste the beer, which is a little strange, but I don't know. I feel like if I dip the bread in marinara sauce, it'd be better. Well, <laughs> so 
It actually is crispy around the edges, which is nice. And the center is super soft and, and moist and squishy. It's good. But yeah, I think I wouldn't add sugar or maybe just less sugar because you can kind of taste a little bit of sweet and I maybe should have put like a pinch of salt in here. I went against my judgment and just listened to the recipe, but I'm still eating it. Yeah, it's homemade, so. <laughs> it does taste like, I don't know, like kind of nothing, but then kind of like beer. Yeah. Okay, should I try the garlic cheese one? <laughs> That's not terrible. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's really boring, though, because there's nothing in it. But it's not bad. try the other one which should taste better right because it's got cheese and garlic in it I imagine it would be better let's see if I can cut it as nicely as I did the last one it almost has kind of like a scone consistency but doesn't taste like a scone it tastes like bread but when I think of like fresh baked bread this isn't exactly the flavor I think of. All right, I'm just gonna eat the end of the bread because why not? It smells good and it's hot. Here we go. Yeah, this one's way better. Mm-hmm, definitely. I should have added more cheese. I was afraid to, um, to add too much cheese, but it's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's good. You know, it's super dense, so, but it's good. I definitely should have added more cheese, maybe more garlic, definitely needed salt. Can't taste the sugar in this one, but yeah, cheesy one is definitely good. I would say also, <clears throat> if you have bacon or chives and cheese, put all that in there. I think that'd be really good, but it was good. It's not like the best bread I've ever had. And I bet if I made bread the right way, it would be even better. But it was good. I don't hate it. <laughs> there you go. I did it. I made bread. I made beer bread. There's beer in this bread. That's crazy. Yeah. Here it is. <laughs> crazy. It's really heavy. Very dense. Yeah, greasy bread instead of dry bread. <laughs> Well, I'd recommend putting bacon or something in there to make it a little bit more flavorful. Because, yeah, in the cheese one, you can't taste the, um, the beer at all. But in the original one, you can. You definitely can. But thank you, guys. Thanks for being here. I keep knocking things over. Thanks for watching me bake beer bread. Um, and huge shout out to Peter Pavey. Jack Cutler, Sarah Cheney, Red Buick, Darwin, Ed Powell, Bruce, DZ Giveaways, Red Buick, and Night Howler for supporting this stream. You guys are amazing, and thank you for, for being here, supporting me, watching my crazy videos, and letting me um, experiment. Maybe next week I'll bake a cake, or if I have the recipe stuff, 
can try a Game of Thrones cookbook item or a Breath of the Wild cookbook item. But I love you guys. Thanks for being here. I'll be back tomorrow, noonish, for another stream. Maybe it'll be Animal Crossing. Maybe it won't. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Stay safe out there. And I hope I inspired you to try something new or to get in the kitchen and, and try to make something. But you guys are the best. Thanks for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.